We're finally seeing a wee bit of a pullback in Columbia Sportswear, C-O-L-M for you home gamers. After the stock had rallied almost nonstop over the past month, flying from $35 to nearly $45 in less than four weeks' time, could this be your chance to do some buying? For those of you who don't know, Columbia Sportswear makes a out there, outdoor apparel, footwear, accessories, and equipment. Oh, you know, their brands, Columbia, Mountain Hardware, Montreal, Prana for sustainably uh, made yoga, which is the hottest uh, area right now in, flat, in fashion, climbing apparel along with Sorrel, uh, Montreal, and Al Try for shoe boots. I'm just conscious I'm blocking some of these, which is probably what you might know, but there's so much more to it. At the end of October, the company reported a spectacular quarter, delivering a six cent earnings beat off an 87 cent basis, higher than expected sales, that rose 29% year over year, most importantly, 14% organic growth. Plus, management raised their full management raised their full year guidance and put through a 7% dividend boost, bringing the yield up to 1.4% at these levels. That's not, well, it's not huge, but it's worth mentioning. Columbia Sportswear is an innovator that uses technology to engineer superior products. It's got a small but growing direct-to-consumer business. And while the company's been making strides to reduce its seasonality, this is still the best time of the year. Let's dig deeper with Tim Boyle. He is the president and CEO of Columbia Sportswear. To learn more about his company, his prospects. Mr. Boyle, sorry I messed up the design, yeah, okay. but welcome That's back to the show. So Good to see you. you. Thank you. Sir, what I see is a company that at one point people felt was about cold, cold weather, and now is pretty much all weather. It's right to the point where when I go to the website, it tells me, do you want to be dry? Do you want to be cool? you want to be warm? You've really transformed this company. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting when you have a company that's initially started in America and you have seasonality with more expensive products in the summer, right. excuse me, in the wintertime, and you have this holiday which happens at the end of December. It's hard to, to balance that seasonality, but we've, we've really focused on internationalizing the business, growing the business in South America, Central America, and building products that are great for summertime. Well, when I went over it, it seems like that of all the things, Korea is really the only area that you were having. But you've, you're hitting a ball in the park pretty much everywhere. Well, you know, you would like to think that. I mean, we, we are helped with the weather in North America for sure this year. I mean, it's been a spectacular uh, aid to us. But we, we have currency issues from time to time, and, and, and economies are not always robust all the time everywhere. No, and I know that you, but yes, but you know what? You're most self-effacing company. In your conference call, you say, listen, Europe, the direct to business, we would love to blame the economy or the weather or something, but it was a function of your own shortcomings. You are the most self-effacing of CEOs, sir. <laughs> well, uh, it's always good to admit where you can, where you can right. get help, right? right? Now, you were named Gear of the Year. Uh, which I imagine in that skiing world is something that is going to make it so you're going to have a great holiday season no matter what. Well, you know, it's, it's really interesting. And we've, we are very cautious about our inventory build. So right. if we have a spectacular item like our Turbo Down, you know, sometimes we don't have all the product we need to fulfill every order. But we're thrilled with the results we've had so far. And, uh, and right. it, you know, it's going to be good. But in the end, I mean, you know, we had this discussion with Deckers, with Angel Martinez. In the end, this is just such a great seller. Does it, can, it, can it overwhelm everything else that you're doing? Well, you know what's happened with the Sorrel boot business, for, right. as an example? That was a utilitarian men's work boot. And we really moved it into a women's boot. And look where we're that going That was great here. thinking. Was but, that your thinking? You know, I wish I could take credit for that, but our, the guys who run our footwear business really knew what was going on. Wow. Okay. But here's where Sorrell's going. This is a waterproof performance boot. Performance yeah, boot? Yeah, waterproof, warm. Women love it. They do. Wow. Okay, well, how about, I mean, now you're doing a tie-in with the Dallas Cowboys. You're doing fishing gear. I mean, these are fall and summer goods, right? Yes, right. Well, you know, it's, again, the southern part of the United States has really had a love affair with our PFG products, our performance fishing gear right. products. And those are, have taken a real life of their own. It's a little bit over a $100 million business for us now. We're focused on making sure that that business extends all the way through South and Central America. We launched it in Europe this year, and uh, there's real opportunity for us as a lifestyle brand supported by fishing. You're up against some pretty smart guys. Uh, Kevin Plank, he's always talking about he's a technology company. Nike, which I know because you're out there. Nike's really gearing up technology in order to take on Under Armour. But tech has always been your thing. Yeah. Are you still doing that with the other seasons? Yes. We have, you know, it's really our point of differentiation is our innovation. So right. we've developed products that keep you warm for the cold seasons. But we also have products like our OmniFree Zero, which is a technology we apply to the inside of a fabric that actually when it gets moist so sweat activated cooling makes the fabric cooler and, and the wearer cooler how's that possible it's a miracle no really i mean no no it's, some, it's, it's, it's a chemical thing it's, it's chemistry yeah. and are you a chemist by trade i mean how did you i'm not but you know it's all about supporting teams right. that have these 
big ideas and areas where they can really shine and, and be different. And uh, it's, it's releasing these innovation guys from the cadence of, hey, listen, you got to have that done by this season, next season. It gives them some time to really bring some products out, which take multiple years to generate. But right, you're a week away. Um, when you look at your numbers, as on your excellent website, I mean, is it a possibility that you don't have enough of this by uh, in seven days? Our, uh, our folks in sales and in retail would say no. You know, that's, that's sort of a, a balancing act, and you're trying to dial it in, right. sort of like sailing, you know? Yes. Sometimes you're luffing, sometimes you're going straight ahead. Uh, I think we got the right amount of inventory. Well, I've got to tell you, you're, we've always loved your, uh, your apparel. You're having an absolutely terrific season, and I think it's done because you really are a technician that has exactly what we want. Congratulations. We're trying to Congratulations on a great, great season. Thanks, Jim. Great year. That's Tim Boyle. He's the president and CEO of Columbia Sportswear. You might have known it as winter gear. Uh, go study the website. Go study the, all the companion documents. You'll know it's full year, and that's why it's doing so well now. We have money's back in for the break.